Hey, welcome back to Let's Play Guitar. In this lesson, I'm gonna show you how to play Never Enough. So this is another track from The Greatest Showman. And I did rewrite the stars. There was also a finger style arrangement lesson. So if you want, you can check that out. And this is another song that I wanted to do from this uh, movie. So this is really easy. No percussion in this um, song and in this arrangement as well. So quite easy to play. And to play this, I'm using a capo on the second fret. And that way we are in the same key as the original track so let's get started if you're looking for tabs for this arrangement you can check out my patreon page i'll leave the link down in the description box below so here's the intro we just played on the piano in the original track and the whole song is played on the piano and we're just going to try to reproduce that on the guitar so the notes that i'm playing in the intro are fairly similar to what's being played on the piano all right so let's get started <laughs> So we're starting out by playing open on third string and third fret on the top string together. Then we have three open notes on the D string, G and B string. So that's your fourth, third and second strings. And then second fret on the top string and third string together. So all in all. And then. So that's open on the 4th string, 2nd fret on 3rd string, 1st fret on the 2nd string, right, so. And after that, so that's going to be open on 2nd string, open on top string together, 2nd fret on the 4th string, open, open and open third, second and first strings over there. So by the way on that last open you're playing third fret on the fifth string along with that. Right so then the next time we're trying to play the same melody we're just inserting a couple of more rhythmic notes. So next time, okay, so the melody is almost the same, you can actually play whatever we learned all over again, but we're making a few changes over there, so open on tops, open on third string, third fret on top string together, alright, that's the same thing, so open on fourth, third and second strings again, come to your D over F sharp chord, open on top, second fret on top and third strings together. Now here's a change. Okay, so after playing second and second on top and third strings together, you do. So that's going to be open on fourth string, second fret on third string, third fret on second string, back to second fret on third string. One on second string and open on second and top strings together. So the next time, and then so this is going to be second fret on fourth string. You're playing open notes on third, second, and third again. And then the very end. Just like the first time, you're finishing on open on first string and third fret on that fifth string. Right, I'm just holding on to the, to the C shape chord over there. You don't have to. Then the next time. Now let's start so third fret on the top string and open on third string together and then so 
that's going to be open on fourth string hammer on open the second fret on third string then open and three on the second string but on third fret you move to that second fret on the top string that's the bass note okay so that's if you if you can't do that thumb over the neck just use open on the fourth string as your bass note that also works second fret on third string open on second string then open on top string second fret on third string on fourth string sorry then open on third and fourth third and second strings so now the next part melody lines perfect for beginners starting out by doing a hammer on on third string zero to do hammer on zero to do then open on the second string okay so as you can tell third fret on the fifth string and open on second strings together open on third string open on fourth string move to your D so that's going to be start out by doing open on the second string then open on second with open on fourth second fret on third string open on third string four on the fourth string and open on third string all right so let's start with the verse all over again I'm gonna play what we've learned so far So now for the next few lines, you're just going to repeat the first lines that we've learned. All right. So the starting is the same. All right. So you can just play that. But what I do is I do a little change over here. Instead of this, the second time I play. All right. So That's the only change. So let me play it once again. This is the same. Now instead of this, you can do. Okay, so you can see what's happening. Second fret on fifth string, fourth fret on the fourth string. Just arpeggiating that. Open on top string, two, four, and open again on third string. Now for the next line, it's similar again. There's a change in the very end. Okay, that hammer on comes in. So again, starting out by doing a hammer on from open to do on the third string, then open on second string. So then open on second string, third fret on fifth string together, open on third string, open on fourth string, and then last time it was but this time it's sorry about that okay so starting out by doing again open on second string and open on second string again with open on fourth string then second fret on third string then open on second string second fret on third string again hammer on from open to one on the second string Okay, so second time around, if I could play both the lines again, and this over here, right, and then for the next time, change in the very end, right. Now let's go to the next part of this arrangement, which you can call the pre chorus. Right. 
that is the pre-chorus and then we move to the main chorus of this song. Let's learn that first, second fret on fifth and fourth strings holding on to that E minor shape. It's not E minor chord, it's just the shape. I'm just gonna strum down on that. Just gonna strum down on that and play open on second and third strings. And then, so that's going to be open on first string and top string together and open and three on the second string. And then three on the fifth string, two on the fourth string and open on the third string. So. So we're doing a finger roll, third fret on fifth string, open on third string, third fret on second string. One and open on second string. Before that you can play open on third string if you want. And one and open on second string, then second fret on third string, then you come to G shape. Open on second string and third fret on top string. Okay, so let's look at that all over again. Alright, and then you can do open on fourth string and open on third string. Alright, so now we're going to go to the next part. So we've learned. So we're doing a finger roll, third fret on top string, open on third and second strings, then one on the second string, so, then open on second string, come to D, D uh, string open, and second string open, okay, so, open on second string, then together, then second fret on third string, open on fourth string, open on third string in the end you do a hammer on on third string open the second fret and I'm also playing the fourth string along with that open like that okay so you want to give a little do it slowly not you know not like that like that like that that creates more emotion so it's not just about playing the right notes and playing the right frets and doing the right hammer-ons. It's also a lot about timing, especially in these songs, you know, these ballads, these slow songs. It's a lot about emotion, so you need to watch that. Okay, so... vibrato over there all right so that's something that you'll learn while playing these songs way to go a little quick way to slow down a little especially in these in these type of songs now let's go to the main chorus all right then the first part that's the first part once again and then we'll come to that later so once again so we're doing a down strum on the G shape over here third fret on top string second and fifth open open and three I'm not playing the fourth first string just yet okay so three three on the first string and three again with the bass note so It's third fret again on th on second string this time and third fret again on second string with the bass note then open on third string open open on second string and second fret 
on third string. Now, so we're doing a down strum on the D chord, not playing the first string just yet because we're going to play it now. Okay, two and two on the first string, and then two again on first string with open on the fourth string. So, and third fret on second string, two again on first string with the bass note. When I say the bass note, it means open on the fourth string. So, and the way end. Okay, so second fret, just playing the notes from the D shape over here, second fret on. Third string, third fret on second string, second fret on first string again, and three on the first string. All right. Okay. Now here's the next part. Okay. Just following along with the main melody of the chorus open on fifth string and slide from three to five at the same time on the first string and seven on the first string and open on the first string three on second string open to three hammer on on the first string along with that you're playing open on the top string strum over here just a little down strum on the second and third strings open okay I'm just you can follow the tabs if you if you if you want them it's all listed on the tabs next you come over here which is just nothing but a C over here okay C bass note just to get that higher uh, note over here we're playing it like this okay so third fret on the fifth string third fret again Oh, so your fifth fret again on the fourth, fourth, third string and fifth fret on the first string. You can do you, you're gonna do that. Okay, you're gonna do a finger roll. And seven on first string and open on the first string. And do a slide from three to five on the second string and play that fifth fret on the first string. Okay, now we keep playing this little part differently. Okay, sometimes I can play it like this which is how I play it most of the time, or I can play it like this. Okay, so third fret on the second string, then five on second string and third fret on fifth string together, and then five again on the first string. So either or, okay, so that depends on, again, the emotion that you wanna create by doing a slide and go to the fifth fret on the first string, or you can do you can do that okay so that it's completely on you uh, I'm telling you this right now because these parts are later repeated again okay so there's no point in showing them all over again I can tell you the variations that I'm doing later right over here okay so that's the that's the chorus that you've learned the first part of the chorus you can do another um, you know strike over here with your middle finger with your with your another strum over here a little strum and now you're just going to repeat whatever we've learned till now for the chorus all over again okay so just repeat that all over again so instead of was the first time the next time when you're playing this whole thing all over again you can do okay that's a little variation that I make over here so let's see what's happening over here in this little changes that I make okay so you start again with the strum there's no change in that there's no change over here now the first time it was time and now this time 
Okay, so that's open on second string, then open on second string again with top string, third fret, then first fret on the second string, then open, open on second string, and you come to second fret on third string. Okay, now there's another change when we come to D shape over here. The first time we were doing, what we were playing and then we went to all of that okay so this is what we're doing the first time and now the second time here's a change so okay we just learned that and now okay that's what's happening so once again So we start by doing 3rd fret on the 1st string and 2nd fret on the 1st string along with that open on top string together. Okay, so then so that's 3rd fret on the 2nd string, open on 1st string and 2nd fret on 1st string with open on top, open on 4th string. So okay, once again we're going to play this little part again and then once again okay so let's play three times so let's take it from over here now one two three and you finish it off by doing third fret on the first string okay so that's how you end it so Then the rest of the part is the same as we learned before. You just do a little bit, um, a little more strums over here. And you wait for a while till you go to the next part of the chorus or you can call this the post chorus part or you can call this actually the main chorus but whatever you want to call it there's another part that we have to learn okay so after this this part is the same The first time we went right up right on to the next part but here now after doing that second time you do a little strums over here like you just up and down and then you go to the next part for this main chorus so here's what we're going to learn now okay so first you do, you do three and three on the first string and then Three on the top string and open the second fret hammer on on the third string and open and three on the second string okay so you can do a little strum after that and then so I'm playing open on second string and seven and five on the first string okay and seven on third string and 7 and 5 again on the first string. Okay, and after that, so as you can see, we just repeated, repeated that little part all over again. So, except this, you have to repeat all the parts. Repeat again. Okay, so I'm not doing this every time. I'm not playing the bass note every time. The next time what I'm doing is just doing a little strum. I'm trying to play that open open the fourth string and then do the hammer on. Okay, you can do it. Or second time repeat again. Now third time, one last time again. 
okay so you know we've played three times so let's check that all over again so let's take it from over here and you will strum over here and then now okay second time third time again now on the fourth count you do this okay once again so you're doing third fret on the first string and third fret on fifth string and pull off from three to open on the first string okay and open on third string and do a little strum over here first fret on second string and open on third string do a little strum so and then so that's third fret on the first string slide from three to five on the first string we come to this chord okay third fret on the fifth string fifth fret third string third fret on fifth string again and fifth fret this time on the first string so like that all right and that completes your chorus so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to play the entire chorus the first part and the second part all over again okay to show you what we've learned the whole chorus okay so let's see starts from over here for the chorus all right that completes the chorus now what you're going to do is you're going to repeat the entire chorus all over again okay so that's your choice repeat it as many times as you want I'm playing the whole chorus one more time okay I've kept this arrangement short if you want it you can you can even extend the verse that we learned the verse you know you can extend that after this chorus you can come back to second verse play it like the first verse and then come to the second chorus but um, in a song I think the verse is played verse is sung just once then it just the chorus just keeps on repeating so now we're going to repeat the whole chorus once again and then we'll take a look at how to end this arrangement the way I do it in my uh, when I play the demo okay so just repeat the entire chorus This is something that I do in the demo. Instead of this, you can just do a slide from three to five and back from five to three. Like that. So okay, that's something that you can do. And over here, this is this is what we've learned till now. Now to end this arrangement, what I do is this. Okay, so 
I'm doing a slide from 3 to 8 on the first string. Okay, sliding you can do from anywhere. Just slide up to the 8th fret. So, this is where we end it. Now slide from 3 to 8 on the first string. And play 8 again on the first string. And then, so this is going to be 8 on 3rd string. 8 on 2nd string. 8 again on 3rd string. And 8 on the 1st string. So, and then, the very end, playing the, playing the G major chord over here, in the shape of D, right, so that's going to be open on the 4th string if you want, but I'm not playing that, 7th fret on 3rd string, 8th fret on 2nd string, 7th fret again on the 1st string, that's how we end it. Okay, so let's let me uh, let's go to the very ending of the chorus and then finish this arrangement. Okay. This and then all right. So that is it. That's how you play never enough. Uh, it was a pretty simple, straightforward, uh, beautiful arrangement for this uh, beautiful song. So if you're looking for tabs for this arrangement, I leave the link down in the description box below. It's available on my Patreon page and also a playthrough video where I play the whole song with tabs on screen. So that is it for today. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys again with another listen. Till then, take care and goodbye.